Leroy Dragons, ladies and gentlemen, this is Custer's last stand, the Battle of Little Bighorn, as suggested by our very own Choi Baco. Oh shit, Custer, just look at this guy. He's a pin cushion. This guy's just putting a spear into him. Just, just, oh my god, the barbarians here. Okay, so the red men, <laughs> oh my god, the red men are the Native American tribes. Um, Lakota, Dakota, Northern Cheyenne, and Arapaho. Because you gotta wrap them hoes, ladies and gentlemen. A wrap them hoes. We've got poachers coming in. The archers are firing and they all missed. Wow, that was terrible. Oh my god, now they're just dissecting. Well, this is this is kind of how it happened. Custer's Last Stand was basically a massacre. And the, uh, the Americans got, got whooped. Much like this guy with arrows in his legs and penis. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at Choi Bako's suggestions. So we got the, on the left side are the Native American Alliance here. This is the Lakota Sioux with 20 archers in the back. Then we have the Dakota Sioux with 20 poachers. Then we've got the Northern Cheyenne with 15 spearmen and the Rapaho with 15 barbarians. Split into these three little lines. You know what, we're gonna put them a little back and see if that changes things. And then if we need to, which we probably will, we're going to give the Americans a little bit more cavalry. But this should allow the musket men to take out some of these oh, some of these uh, barbarians, them Arapahoes. Come on, come on, man. You got a Leroy Jang in this. Oh. Oh! That was almost friendly fire. Okay, so he's distracting all the poachers, which is pretty good. Oh! Okay, wait. Oh no, they failed. These Arapahoes made it to the lines and what, what the who are you shooting at? There's no one to shoot at anymore. That that was a really strange salvo. Okay, so Custer is it Colonel Custer, not Colonel Custard here, is dead. The archers are finding their range. Oh! I saw a poacher bow fly into the air there. And shit is getting real for the Seventh Cavalry made up of 30 musketmen. Now it looks like we've got less than 10. Look at all these arrows. Actually, the musketmen are doing okay, but I'm definitely... I'm going to give this one to the archers because generally they're more accurate. But it actually looks like... Look at this guy. He's just stomping on him. This one's going to go down to the wire head shot. Oh, wait. No, that was a bow shot, it looked like. Can't really figure out what exactly happened right there. So, wait a minute. Just by changing the Barbarian's position, we have this. That is the last of the Lakota Sioux. How come we don't have a state in the continental United States called Lakota? We got South Dakota and North Dakota. Why couldn't one be Dakota and one be Lakota? Let's just be honest, it would be cooler that way. North Dakota, South Dakota, boring. Oh, hit those poachers. Oh my god, he got decapitated. A bolt went right through his throat. Two of them. All right, musketmen. You took down all the barbarians this first time. Now you got to get all these spearmen. Or it's going to be bad times for the 7th Cavalry. We've got two spearmen left. They should be fine. Spearmen are a little bit slow. They both got musketed down. There may be a little bit of friendly fire and some arrows. Oh! Oh, dude. Did, oh, didn't, they didn't kill anybody. Oh! Yes! What the shit? He survived and bodies... Bodies are raining from the heavens, guys. Now, what? 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 What is going on? Seventh Cavalry! Find your range. Pick your targets. You may fire when ready. Oh. The, these archers. Oh, there's one. There's one down. Okay, the last. Lakota Sioux. I just gotta say, Lakota is probably my favorite word today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put that out there. Lakota, favorite word. Now, we gotta figure out a way to make these, uh, let's do this. All right, so if we know where the chariot's going, we've gotta stop, we gotta stop Colonel Custer from wrecking house. Actually, you know what? Put one back there. And then a static formation. So I'm hoping the chariot aggros to this group of 10 spearmen and crashes into it. Let's see if it works. Oh god, he still went straight through it. He got stopped though. The spearmen did okay. There's two right in front of these poachers. Oh, but the 30th cavalry. 
30th Cavalry, America, do it for America. Oh, we've got two barbarians that crash through the lines. Two musketmen are down, and look at this. This one's more than likely. This one should and could be an American. Oh, no. These poachers. Remember when poachers were the best unit in the game? When we beat the campaign with them? They used to be legendary. But that's the beauty of a game that's constantly updating. Well, not constantly, but updating relatively frequently is that you get changes. So there's been buffs to catapults. I think the Hawacha now spawns with a dude on it. Oh my gosh, America's winning this one. We gotta find a way. Um, I'm thinking, okay, I know how we're gonna do it. I know how we gonna do it. I'm gonna split up the poachers into two groups. Okay, we've got one. We've got, oh, one Lakota Sioux trying to hide in uh, Colonel Custer's horse body. That sounds a little strange. Now, what we're gonna do, yeah. So we're gonna keep the archers back there. But we are going to redistribute the wealth of poachers. Basically, in kind of these two little lines, we're going to put one up here. Because if they can get in and hit, get in and hit it and quit it, then you know what? This. Let's see if this works. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the chariot. Oh, shit! Okay, so our spearman strategy worked, dude. This one, I'm, I'm calling it right now. This is gonna be a route. America's gonna get, oh my god, what a powerful salvo. But they didn't kill everybody. So I'm thinking these three, one of them. Oh, yes, look at this, and now they're boned. So Colonel Custer's Leroy Jenkins strategy continues to be a problem. And now just concentrated musket fire. We've still got one of the Braves here. We've got one of the Arapaho. Yes! An Arapaho survived. I gotta say, we looked out for our, our red tabs warriors here. Okay, so let's see. What could we do? Let's take... Let's take five off and put them up a little bit. See what that does. Alright. Because they should be able to fire right away. I wonder who they're gonna pick. Where are they gonna fire? The Barbarians? Oh, the chariot's still up. Oh, the chariot is down. It got... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Three men died to friendly fire. This guy's gonna aggro them, which should keep the line intact. I think... I think this one could be... I think this is a 7th Cavalry victory. This one's going out here for America. We got a lot of friendly fire. I don't know why the line kind of broke up like that. I guess that... I think that's what happens when they... When they start picking different targets and some march up and some don't. This is pretty good arrow fire. This guy died. He shot mid, like he shot as he was falling backwards when he got hit by the arrow. That's amazing. And look at this. Just like that. See, that's when you know you know how to tabs, guys. When you can when you can change things. So now I gotta challenge myself. So with this line. Oh, well that's that's not gonna be too bad. What we're gonna do is we're gonna We're gonna create what is this? Oh yeah, that's a spearman. We're gonna put some warriors up early. Oh, and they didn't get hit by the chariot. The chariot's dead. This is going to be a Native American victory. I think. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Arapaho! Come on, boys. Oh, it's a friendly fire. Yes! I really- Oh, he picked up a musket! Come on, I want this guy to survive. I really want this guy to survive. Arapaho, them hoes! Bitch him. Oh, yes, he's just slot. Aw, man. Yeah, look at that. But now we have to figure out how to count. Oh, I know how to count them. I know how to count them. I don't know how to count them. Look at these poachers, man. Finally, the uh, Dakota Sioux. Dakota Sioux warriors are doing their thing. Look at that. Look at that, ladies and gents. Wrap them hoes. Wrap them hoes. All right, so the chariot... Oh, 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 yes! The chariot hit the spearman from behind. He's going after all the poachers. He just died. He split them up. But these uh, Arapahoes are doing pretty good. Well, they... <laughs> Those two guys turned around, turned their muskets on their friends, and then they got shot down. I'd say this is 7th Cavalry victory. Definitely. Arapahoes. Archers! Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I, I think maybe in the most recent patch, they've really solidified the fact, I think, 
Oh my god, look at that devastation. All those Native Americans slaughtered. Okay. We're gonna wrap the hose a little bit more. You know, we're gonna give them a cannon. And then... Uh, two peasants. <laughs> because... Because why not? Alright, peasants charge! I don't know who they... Maybe those are like drunks. Oh, the cannon clipped someone. Clipped two. Actually killed one of them. Come on, cannon. You gotta... You gotta be the MVP of this game. Oh no, this... This Arapaho. Boom! Did... And the cannonball tripped one of the, uh... One of the archers. I love when they flip them. Poachers are really good at taking cannonballs to the legs. <laughs> oh god, it's like bowling back here. This this cannon is bowling. Boom! <laughs> oh my god. That was even more of a route. Okay. So the Native Americans here, they, they invented a contraption that's gonna give them so many arrows to fire. A rap a ho. Oh shit! There's a dude on top of it now! <laughs> okay, so in the update it said that like they added a dude to the top of the Hawacha and I think that might be the funniest thing I've ever seen. He's just like spread eagle like, what's up boys? Check out all my arrows and then the seventh cab here, man. These muskets. Devastating. Boop! Oh bowling. Oh my god. That one cannon killed like so many. <laughs> I love how it just wrecks these people, man. Oh, that guy got hit like eight times in the face. All right. Let's see what happens. We're gonna add Hawatches on Hawatches and Hawatches. The natives are getting restless. <laughs> Don't you love this? Oh shit, a cannonball took one out and it's shooting them from behind. And these things actually did more damage to their allies than to the enemy. Oh, that guy got shot off the top of it, I'm pretty sure. Look at these wheels. Just like, what's up, dude? I've never seen- Whoa! Oh! Hello! I think it got hit by a musk ball. Wait a minute. Nope. Look at these guys seeking cover. Yeah, what's up, dude? What you doing? Oh! <laughs> Okay, you down, you down, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we gotta make this not a, a um, we gotta make it a Native American victory again, and I know how to do that by going back to the beginning because that's how it totally accurately happened. And let's do some muskets back. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Troy Bacos, Colonel's Last Stand. Colonel Custer's last stand. The Battle of Lakota. The Lakotan army is coming forward. Charge! Oh, how many of them make it? How many of them make it? Two made it! One, zero made it! <laughs> Uh-oh. These poachers need to start firing and take some people down. Oh, no. Oh, look at that arrow fire! Yes! It's, it's gonna be a Native American victory. Oh, he threw his bow. He's like, fuck you, man. I don't even give a shit. We know we're going to win. We can throw our bows at you. Oh, get wrecked, mate. And Colonel Custer. Rest in peace. Oh, to the throat. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for the suggestions. Keep them coming. I want everyone to put a vote in the comments below. And give me that hit. Pull the trigger on the like button if you enjoyed the Hawatches and everything else we did. Ladies and gentlemen. My name is Baron. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.